What's up everyone? Today I just got uh, the official ice cream sandwich update for my AT&T Samsung Galaxy S2. And now I'm going to uh, just show you a first look of what it looks like on, on the device, what the new software looks like. So this, the uh, lock screen is a lot different already. Uh, you can see instead of having the bubbles, there's just small little dots, but they still do the same function as the bubbles. The password's the same as what it was before. Um, when I updated it, it reset the entire launcher, so it's, I'll have to reorganize all of my icons again. I actually videotaped how they all were, so I could uh, remember how to do it right, because I'm so used to it. It lets me get uh, things done a lot quicker. So, as you just saw, the pinch... Uh, the zoom thing is the same. Uh, this stuff's the same, how that you can scroll from the different pages. I've always liked that. This seems to be different. Learn about panning. Oh, so it's just teaching, teaching you how you can do that. I already knew all this though. This must be the new uh, like uh, power control uh, widget. So let's go to applications and see what that looks like. Uh, it seems to be about the same. Yeah, the, the zoom or the zoom out feature is the same. That all seems to be the same. This is different. The way that all the menus are uh, set up, instead of having the six icons or or three icons on the bottom, it comes up in a list view like this. But it's still the same basic functions. This is different too. Instead of having the six, six different uh, squares, it's just got this list. So let's go to the settings and see what that it says. Oh, this is different. So you can switch on Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, data usage. I want to see what the phone version is right there. 4.0.3. So that's good. Uh, see what the settings are looks like they're all the same basic features back and reset back up and reset that must be like uh, just a reset I've noticed if you when you stop scrolling it moves a little bit more uh, so let's see you can switch off Wi-Fi here let's go to data usage so this is neat you can actually set like data usage cap so you don't go over your limit. I actually downloaded an app that would uh, take care of this for me, this app. But now I'm not going to be needing that anymore because it comes right on the phone. And also here on your notifications you can just swipe these right off. Instead of, uh, usually you just hit the clear button up here. I've also noticed that now it says AT&T up in the left hand corner when you scroll down on the, the taskbar. see home screen let's see what the font is uh, Helvetica S that's what I had it set for the default font I think that should be the uh, ice cream sandwich font that they redid for the new version I kinda like it it looks pretty cool Uh, so let's go look at some of the apps and see how they're different. Let's see what the phone app looks like. That's basically the same. So uh, let's go. Let's take a look at the camera. Let's see what. It, okay, so this looks about the same as it did before. I was kind of expecting it to look like it did on the, the Nexus. So let's see these settings. That's all the same basic stuff. Um, email. Email's a little different. It's all larger font. So, this is a combined. Huh. Uh, now, one of the features I was really excited about is the new multitasking. So, if you hold down on the home screen, then this comes up. Instead of having the uh, little blocks where, like, the 
big menu right in the middle with all the apps that you're using. This just comes up with a list and you can just swipe them over to the right or to the left to delete them. It also gives you a task manager, which will take you to the task manager. So this looks pretty good. Um, I'll be back later to show mo you more about uh, the software. And uh, that's about it. See you later. For this hey everyone, I'm here with uh, my phone okay, so right here. Here. Yeah, yeah. Here. Which also first now I'm going to show you, you as a uh, web browser. So, so let's see what the UI looks like right now. Uh, see what the uh, gingerbread.